Hello, duckies, and welcome to Nightfall Hollow. This is a demo in which we get to see a little intro to the game, go in, see about, like, controls, meet some of the characters, and the whole point of the story, it is a horror mystery, and we have to find the truth. I am now a seeker of truth. Yes. So... My name's Viola. If you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe. If you haven't, it really does help the channel. And let's get into this. Early development in NFL represents Yeah. Prologue. Welcome to Nightfall Hollow. This is where our story starts. This used to be the offices for one of the best altern alternative news sites on the web. Now, now it's nothing. A st stir gadge. I, I see what it was supposed to say, but there's a typo. <laughs> Space of crap and forgotten dreams. A depressing reminder of failure. Why the hell did I bother coming in? Come on, Nia. You need to get your life in order and stop this journalist nonsense. This is like the second time I've seen almost the same character in a game. <laughs> anyway. Maybe I should have one last look around before closing up for good. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna be using keyboards so keep a lookout when exploring Nightfall Hollow you never know what might be important everything everything is important including this chair where it has fallen over and now I can stand on oh, that's a videotape I never got around to watching scared people to death or something my VCR is bust now anyway this shelf up a while ago. Here's that raggedy end doll that apparently scared people. I don't see it myself. I like the long red pigtails. Here's that weird statue we found in Peru. It's a man, lion, bird thing. Shame its name got chipped off. Pazu something. This. Here's that strange puzzle box. I never figured out how to open it. Oh, here's that book from that true crime writer. And some old eight suit the and some old super eight reels he sent never did a pro never did get a projector to watch them a few souvenirs from previous travels can't bring myself to get rid of any of these this okay same thing all the files from previous investigation there's some great memories in here no point switching this thing on I've not had any messages in a long, long time. Nothing but fast food wrappers. I need to start eating better. You and me too. Everybody. Goes up and go home. I think I looked at everything. Yeah. Time to call it a day, I guess. Going to miss this dump. What the? Stupid computer, you scared the crap out of me. I don't remember turning this thing on. You didn't. Hang on, what's this? First email we ha have had in over a year. Is it night? Oh. What the hell was that? What's Nightfall Hollow? A few days later. Come on, Neo. What are you doing? You get one strange email and you're off looking into what? A small town in the middle of nowhere? Where are my notes? Whoops. Anyway. Ah. Blurry notes! Yay! So I'm moving myself to a random town in the middle of nowhere for a bunch of rooms. 
possible ghost sightings, maybe people maybe vanishing, then vanishing, then reshowing, oh, reappearing, I think you mean, uh, without any memory of it. Reports of strange lights and sounds spotted in the night sky. Wait, how did you spot a sound in the night sky? How do you spot a sound at all? Witchcraft claims from the 1600s. Pagan cults. Kalims. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not doing this as like a tease. I'm just like... My brain is on this mode right now. <laughs> Claims on internet forums, even a return from the grave story for good measure. Pet cemetery. <laughs> and of course, absolutely zero proof of anything except a few grainy photos that can't be clarified. But still, that weird email has intrigued me. Who sent it? And why? And why did my computer decide to turn itself on to show me it? Only thing I know for certain is the place floods and gets cut off from everywhere during the rain season, so I need to get there tonight before it's too late. So that I can get trapped there because it's the rainy season. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go, let's go. What's, what what must you think of your husband just chasing a silly story again? I hope you're not looking down and judging me too much. Ooh. Hmm. What am I doing? Oh well, I'm almost there, so no backing out now. So, this is it then. The mysterious town of Nightfall Hollow. This looks like the place. Time to get acquainted. Acquainted. Brain. English. Hi. Um, hello? <sighs> One second, please. Can I help you? Hi, yes, I'm Neil Williams. You must be Pete. I believe we spoke on the phone. I'm here about the room. All right, Mr. Williams, the journalist. That's right. I'm here to write about your town and look into some of the unexplained rumors that I'm sure you've heard. Utter nonsense. Just stupid stories peddled to idiots, if you ask me. I'm not really interested in your personal or professional life. Just make sure you look after your room whilst you're here. It's fully furnished, and your deposit will be kept if there are any damages when you leave. Alright, sorry. Your key's on the end of the desk. Room 101. Please do not disturb the other residents. Do many other people live here? There's currently just one person on each floor. Two including you on your floor now. I understand you're here to do a job, but please do not bother the other residents. I promise to go about my business without disturbing anyone. I just have to get a few boxes out of my car, out of my car, then I'll head up to my room. Very well. If you require anything, I will be here. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thanks. I think not a bad little apartment. It'll do for a base of operations whilst I do my research. My notebook is here. I should interact with it whenever I want to go over notes or check any progress I might make. I can also find it in the menu. Might as well have a look around the place before going to bed for the night. You want to switch the computer on? No! I'm sure if it needs me, it'll turn itself on. Should be able to fit something in here. No, I'm sure the TV will switch itself on if it needs it. Be a good place for my old files. Sure, let's open the fridge. Nothing. I really do need... I really need to do some chopping. Okay. 
sure. Yes. Okay. Toaster. For toast. Really should have cleaned this before putting stuff in it. Oh well. This calendar might come in handy later. Okay then. Going about. I have a box. Everybody ought to have a box. A lot of crap to sort through. More crap to sort through. Too tired to go out now. I should go around the apartment or get some sleep. Nightfall Hollow has a history of unexplained events in its past. Could any of it be true? I'll see if I can get the truth whilst I'm stuck here. Ask around about the town's history, get to the bottom of old strange rumor, and find out who sent that weird email. Hello? Is someone there? Whoa! What the fudge? I'm just tired. Ah! Leave now. <laughs> you idiot. Just a nightmare. Too many stories before bed. Right. It's time to get to work. I need to meet and talk to everybody in town. I should consider knocking on all the doors on each floor and seeing what my neighbors know. Maybe have another look around my apartment too, see if I missed anything whilst tired last night. But I'm not supposed to disturb the neighbors! Found a battery. Monday today. And another battery. On my notebooks and things, I'll be away at some point. God, this apartment building is a crapple. Lovely! Crapple apartment building. Be answered. Be answered. Hi there. Were you looking for me? You're the guy that lives down the hall, right? Oh, hi. Yes, I'm Neo. I've recently moved to town. Nice to meet you. Oh, hello, Neo. I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you, too. So, was there a reason you were knocking on my door? Oh, right, yes. I'm a journalist, and I'm currently writing a piece on Nightfall, and it's apparent strange goings-on. And I was wondering if you knew anything about the rumors. Oh, I see. No, sorry, I have nothing to say about this town. Nice to meet you, anyway. I must get going now. I have stuff to do. Good luck with your piece. But I'd consider finding a nicer town to write about. Why she got red eyes? Why is she creepy with the red eyes and stuff? I'm gonna disturb all the things. What the? I don't like the lighting in this hall. Go away, I told you I'm not paying the rent till you fix the damn lights. I should question Pete about these lights.
the letter on the floor. I see it over there. I'm gonna probably grab it. Oh, there's a notice on the door. Room condemned due to floor collapse. What sort of building have I moved into? Someone has dropped a letter here. It's for someone called Cody. The envelope's seen better day. I think it's been opened and read a lot of times. Should I read it? Yes! Hope you're well. I'm sorry things ended the way they did between us, but I think it was for the best. I just want you to know I'm sorry and I hope one day you can forgive me. I'm sorry again. Okay. Oh, that's a bit personal. I guess the author of this letter hurt this Cody person. Maybe I shouldn't have read that. Doesn't matter what we did now. Whoa. I'm not up to anything. Oh, you're not Pete. Phew. Hi. No, I'm definitely not Pete. I'm Neo, by the way. Oh, great name. I'm Cody from 301. I'm not up to anything dodgy, don't worry. I'm just having a smoke. He just hates smokers, so I hide up here to have one. I'm not exactly in, on best terms with Pete, so I'd prefer not to get in more trouble. Have you come up for a smoke too? Wait, is that my letter hanging out of your pocket? Oh, sorry, I found it on the floor downstairs. So, Mr. Neo, you just pick up letters you find on the ground all the time? No, sorry, let me explain. I'm a journalist and just moved here to investigate this town, so I pick up lots of things that might be interesting. Did you read it? Let's be honest. Yes. Again, I'm sorry. Being a journalist makes me nosy. It's okay. I had actually thrown it out. It must have fell out of my trash when I was taking it outside. It's part of the reason why I recently moved out here. It's from my ex-boyfriend. We were together for a long time, and it was a pretty hard breakup. So I wanted a clean, fresh start. You can't get much fresher start than this little cut-off town. Keeping that letter didn't feel like moving on, so do what you want with it. But please, don't show it to me again. I understand. My wife actually passed away about a year ago, so I understand the need to get away from upsetting memories. It's part of why I'm here, too. Investing this, investigating this town's strange history helps keep me busy. I don't suppose you know anything or seen anything out of the ordinary? For real? You're investigating this place? I thought I was the only one to notice. Notice what? Do you know something? It's nothing, really. Like I said, I've not long moved here myself, but this place is definitely weird, man. I can't quite put my finger on what, though. It's just like a feeling, but nobody wants to talk about it. I've tried asking a few other residents in town about it, but they just shun me. I see. Sorry, that's not really helpful, is it? No, no, it's definitely interesting. Thank you. Well, nice to meet you anyway. I'd like to read your article when finished. I'll let you carry on investigating. Just one more quick question. Yeah? How did you fall out with Pete? Oh, I lost my room key. He was not happy with me at all. In fact, he hasn't got me a new one yet, so I have to pick my lock to get in my room. Wow, best not to lose my key then. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Catch you later, Neo. And try to stay out of my post. Hey, you come up here for smoke too? Don't tell the landlord, okay? He gets really pissy about it. Wired fence blocks your path. Alright. I don't like this hallway with its lights being all borked. There we go. No running in the corner. Oh, sorry. What's wrong with the lights on the second floor? It's just a fuse. I'll replace it as soon as possible. Would you like me to help? I don't need help. Look, the fuse box is on the hut, is in the hut on the roof, and I've lost the key to the security fence. I have to find a way to pass the lock on the fence or through it. Yes, Mr. Williams, can I help you? Yes. Uh, anything of interest to see in this town? If you're looking for nightlife, the bar down the road is very popular. How long have you lived here? All my life. Any message for me? No, nothing currently. What day is it? 
You don't know? Today's Monday. Do what you like with that information. Okay. Thank you. Looks like an old newspaper clipping. Horrific accident happened here not too long ago. Local newlywed left widow after horrific content. Okay. Probably not relevant, but I'll keep hold of it. I don't really want to go dumpster diving for no reason. There is a reason. It's to investigate. Convenience store. Sign of the door. Open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sure, let's go in. Hi, welcome to Night Falls store. How can I help you? Hi, I'm Nicole. Nice to meet you, Neo. I'm Clara. You must be new to town. I am. Is it that obvious? Yes, even the fact mm, you have to ask. Nightfall is a very small town, so newbies stand out. What brings you here? Not the most exciting place to holiday. I'm actually a journalist writing an article on town specifically about some apparent strange goings on. Well, I've never heard such, any such rumor, and I've lived here forever. Now, if you don't need to buy anything, I must get back to work. Your old magazines, batteries and things, general food and snacks. Food has no best before dates on, that's a concern. General food and snacks. Walk the door to the storeroom. Um, we don't have a lot. What would you like? Oh, I don't even have... I don't have any money. <clears throat> okay, then. Gotta hate clowns. Luckily, this was from a year ago. Wait, what does that say? Don't run. That's a weird thing to put on the poster. Okay, I don't think I should run anymore. Bar, do you wish to enter? Yes! For the last time, I don't want to be disturbed. I'm sorry, sir. I just thought... You thought nothing. Now make sure I am not disturbed. You're already disturbed. Hey, <laughs> <Nice>, Starnchner. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome to Popa's Bar. How can I help you? Who was that angry guy? Oh, he's the owner. He can be a little grumpy at times. But he's a nice guy, really. Honest. Hmm. He seems suspicious. I should try and meet him. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself. Hi, I'm Neo. Nice to meet you, Neo. Welcome to Nightfall. My name's Polly. So what brings you to our little town? Actually, I'm a journalist. I'm writing a story about the town. Oh, I see. Do you have anything interesting to say? I bet as a bartender you hear lots of stories. Nothing exciting, I'm afraid. Nothing about any of the strange rumors. Shh. I'm sorry. Look, we've all heard rumors about this town being weird. I'm afraid it's just not true. But a few residents here get quite upset hearing people say such things noticed. My apologies. No problem. Now, if you need anything to eat or drink, please just ask. Or why not try one of our arcade games? I myself enjoy them a lot. Thanks, I'll catch you later. Guess he doesn't want to talk. I'm sorry that area is for staff only. Can I work here? I need a job. I need money. <laughs> Because apparently I moved to a town, paid all my money towards rent, and that was that. Line doesn't work. 
locked police car. Maybe I shouldn't mess with the cop car. But I want to mess with the cop car. The cop car. Ranger's office. Let's enter. <gasps> Kitty! Or pup. Pork, pork. Why, yes, it is. Why, thank you. You have a nice day as well. Hi there, stranger. How can I help? Hi there, um, officer. I am Officer Heather. And this is... That is Officer Gordo. Now, how can I help you, Mr... Uh, oh, I'm Neo. Neo Williams. I'm new to town and I'm a journalist. How interesting. So there's not much to write about here. Well, I was wondering as a local ranger if you knew any interesting stories. Maybe something unexpected that may have happened? Anything unexpected? Not that I can think of. I'll be honest, not a lot really happens here. In fact, it's pretty boring. Oh, I heard rumors of people in the town experiencing some unexplained occurrences. Oh, really? And where did you hear these rumors? They sound interesting. Oh, um, just some silly stories online. Oh, well, I wouldn't believe everything you read online. But I hope you find in something interesting to write about. I look forward to reading it. Thanks. Yeah, the cop dog is is like yeah when 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 he approaches you it, it's it's not a situation to be like oh yeah I, I i heard all this and i know what i'm doing my balance is here well this job doesn't pay well really you think Notice for closure. Looks like it's closed down a long time ago. Another one. Community center. Deep in concentration. I may need to come back later to meet her. What about this place? Pawn shop. Hey there, boss. Welcome to my shop. Looking to shift some stuff? Show me what you got. Mm, excuse me. I mean, that's why you're here, right? Sell me some stuff you found? No, sorry, I'm new to town, so I'm just trying to learn the layout and meet everyone. That's cool, man. Well, I'm Chris, and this is my shop. If you want to get rid of any of that stuff you find around town, I'll give you some dollars for it. What stuff? Oh man, you don't know? People in Nightfall are always losing or throwing away perfectly good recyclable goods. Literally everywhere, as long as you don't mind getting dirty. Oh, wow, really? What do you do with it if people have thrown it away? I upcycle, bro. I make new things from old junk or I fix them and resell them. Most people can't be bothered with the hassle, so I buy it off them and do it myself. Okay, sounds good. Where should I look? Trash cans, under benches, discarded bags, maybe even under some furniture or objects and buildings. Now you know what you're looking for. Ooh, it's worth going back and having a look. You might spot a glint of something interesting, especially if you need to earn a few bucks. Thanks for the tip. I will. I'm Neo, by the way. I'm actually investigating the town's apparent strange happenings. Know anything about that? Nice to meet you, Neo. All I can tell you is the woods out east are... It's really scary, man. I refused to go out there. Only went, went once and the whole place gave me a real freaky feeling. Hmm, interesting. I best get back to work. But don't forget to bring me anything you find. I'll give you a fair, fair price. There's a cat on the back of my chair. Oh. Really? You're gonna say hi to everybody? Yeah. Gloria says hi everyone. <laughs> I should keep an eye out. This could be a good way to earn a bit of money whilst I'm stuck here investigating the town. Should be careful not to waste any money though. I don't want to get stuck if I need to buy anything important. I see a glint. I'ma go check it. I found nothing. Trash can. 
used battery. Empty perfume bottle. I found nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Maybe I'll find something over here. Bloody rats. Empty cup. Empty pen. Use battery. This place isn't creepy at all. Oh, hi, kitty! Kitty! Hey, kitty. Hey, are you that kitty that... Oh, you're not? Wait, how did you know what I was going to ask? Well, that makes sense. I guess everyone would ask you the same question. Kitty speaks English. Honestly, does not surprise me. So does Gloria. Leave me alone. Let me enjoy the view. I need to find a way to get his attention. How about some candy? Rusty tools. It's locked. Car. I touched a car. Why I touched a car? I don't know. Because I can touch the car. Why is there a giant crack? What in the world is going on here? It's getting late. It's getting late. The police said that area blocked off because the rain. And a flood and end of flood. I want to run, but at the same time, creepy clowns meet and say that I should not run. So I am not running. Creepy clowns say it, so I should not. Found a broken phone. That'll go for quite a few. Found five dollar. Oh my gosh. Five dollar. Hey, dude. Actually, I'll keep those. Now I have some money. And that means that I can buy myself some food. Out of my bins, please. She might have interesting things in there. Dang it. Look around the bar, see if there's anything. Nope. Nothing interesting. Let's go. Convenience store. We need food. Do, 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 do. Don't be rude. I gotta get there. Before it closes, it might already be closed. Ugh, darn it! How do 
don't have food. So loud. I really don't like this hallway. I really don't like it at all. Way. Okay, there we go. Better. It's a landmark. I, I'm not. I'm. One of one's my room. Don't have any food. Let's go to sleep. What kind of creepy nightmare I'm gonna have tonight? Oh, nothing. Okay. That's fine. Bar. I do not have enough yet. You get a crowbar. Why in the world do you guys just have a crowbar for sale? Yeah, that, like that's not suspicious at all. I may have to sell the batteries to be able to get the crowbar, which I'm pretty sure I'm most likely going to need. That's locked. No fuel available. Cheryl's diner. Ooh, diner. I'm telling you, I know what I saw. Look, I'm not doubting you believe that, but you said yourself it was dark. You'd had a few drinks. I'm just saying it's easy to see things in shadows. I'm not making this up. I know you're not. I'm just saying there'll be a logical explanation for it. Look, there's a customer. We'll talk later, okay? Oh. Hello. Hi. Talk to you later, sis. I'm not crazy. I know. <sighs> I'ma check the things out. I found nothing. Two dollar. Okay. Hi there, handsome. Welcome to Cheryl's Diner. Looking for some fuel? Food or drink? Actually, I have a few questions. Sure, ask away. It's nice to meet you. Cheryl, I'm Neo. Oh, honey, I'm not Cheryl. That was just this place's name when I took over, so I kept it. I'm Chloe. Nice to meet you, Neo. So, what brings you to Nightfall? We've not had many visitors here for years. I seem to be saying this a lot lately, but I'm, investigating jur I'm an investigative journalist. I heard rumors about this town, so came to investigate. <laughs> I wouldn't buy into any of that if it were if I were you. Just a lot of nonsense started by drunk kids. 
it kept the tourists coming, so people played along for a while, but since that stopped, a lot of people left in town. Really don't like talking about it. Anything else? Who was that? You were talking to when you came in? That was my sister. She's had a hard time recently. You mean with losing her husband in the accident? How did you know about that? Oh, sorry, I can see how me knowing would be a surprise. Found a newspaper about it and recognized her picture. Oh, I see. It also sounded like she's seen something recently that shocked her. Oh, so doing research on us isn't enough. You eavesdropping on people's conversations too? Do I need to keep a closer eye on you? Oh, uh, no, sorry. Just my journalist habits, I, I promise. It's okay. I'm just teasing. Seriously, she's had a hard time recently, so I'd prefer to not talk about her like this. And please don't show her that newspaper. It's not an something anyone would want to relive. No problem, I understand. What do you sell here? Sell a few drinks and snacks to keep you going. Oh, and people I like, I sell my own special blend bubblegum. Is that all? That's all for now. I think that's all the questions I have for now. Maybe just some general ones left. No problem. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, batteries. So at some point I'm going to need batteries. That's for my friends, honey. We need to become friends first. No problem, sweetie. I'm not going anywhere. Hi, are you okay? I'm sorry, but I don't know you. Let me introduce myself. I'm I'm not really in the mood for a chat, sorry. I wonder where she's off. Okay, so there's a way down there. Let's go to the pawn shop, sell the used batteries. That way I can get a crowbar. And now let's follow her. Why not? Creepy guy, creepy person, let's go. Okay, she's not in the bar drinking her pain away. Here. Community center, perhaps? Don't have anything to get her attention yet. She purposefully walked up here. Now, she could have just walking, been walking up here to get out of my line of view so that I'm not hmm. need to go back. Need to or woman. I honestly feel like huge is a bit of a uh Gender neutral thing. Okay, well, I have the crowbar, so that would probably fix the issue with the, the lights, maybe. The fuse could just be loose. I'm not gonna run in this corridor. Okay. Can't use the crowbar on that. 
that's not what the crowbar is apparently used for. So running in the pain calls for a door because he's going to get the pain in the door. That's my room. Sorry, Pete. Okay, let's initiate the oh. Here you go. Oh. Simple ring. I was wondering if there's a way to ruin this one. Oh, ruin his view. Nothing happened. Maybe there's all these wires or something. I should check the control cabinet. Hmm, I think I see the problem. Okay. That should do it. What the hell are you playing at? Turn them back on. Leave the bloody lights alone. I'm sorry, I didn't know that's what that did. Bull, you're the one that's bothering me over there. What are you- just what are you playing at? You're right, I'm sorry, let me start over. My name is Neo. I'm an investigative journalist. I'm currently writing about this town and its supposed strange occurrences, and and that gives you the right to bother people? No, again, I apologize. I'm just trying to talk to everyone who might know something. <sighs> it's okay. Look, I used to be the caretaker of this park. It used to be beautiful and clean, and my wife... My wife used to love sitting on that bench and looking over this place. And well, since her passing, I, I like to do it for her. Even though this place has gone to poopy. Oh, I see. And then you had an idiot like me ruin it for it. Don't worry about it for now. Just don't make a habit of it. My name's Charles, by the way. And regarding your investigation, I'd give it up, kid. It's not worth it. Go back home where it's safer. Why would it be safer at home? What's safer at home? Door is boarded up. The building looks abandoned. Looks can be deceiving. Deceivable looks. Says not to run, so I'm going to run. Oh, hey. An old photo. Gross, it's dirty and wet. Not sure what I expected picking up a photo off the floor. Can't make out what the, what the picture is. What it's a picture of either. It's like the guy from the. From the pub. View. What's that you just found? Could it be? It's a ring. Pretty nice looking one, too. It's Eleanor's. The more it was, so... Eleanor is my late wife. She... lost that a long time ago, long before she passed. She was upset about it for days. It was a gift from me, you see. One of the first I got her. So I surprised her a few days later and took her to a jeweler's to buy a new ring. Her smile will always fill me with such joy. She could have melted the coldest parts with it, but I guess she won't need it anymore. It's yours now, kid. Do what you want with it. You should keep this. It means more to you than it ever would, to, would me. What? I mean, thank you. 
Just holding it makes me feel closer to Eleanor again. It's not much, but please take this as a thank you. I won't forget it. The little things that matter. Nice is the picture. Uh, do you think I can meet your boss? Oh, definitely not. Sorry, he doesn't like to be disturbed. Food and drink. We have nightfall meat for only two dollars, but I must warn you, it's very strong. Would you like one? Sure, I can handle one drink. Excellent. Just be careful. It's a bit strong. Cheers. Bit of a strong aftertaste, that. Wow, that is strong. Oh. Well, do not run. Oh, <laughs> one moment, guys. I have to close my door because something decided to pop it open. <laughs> Sound quality dips down. Gloria, you know better. I think she's chasing bugs or something. Where's Hell am I. God, my head hurts. Do not run. Okay. Flashlight should help. How do I... Flashlight. Oh, it's automatic. Okay. I'm not running. Oh boy. Oh, a guest. Let's play a game. No thanks. <laughs> Wasn't a request. One moment, guys. Okay, sorry, I had to calm the crazy Gloria kitty cat. Oh god. Don't run. Well, I died. How did I end up here? That meat really is strong. Was that all just a dream? Oh, here, hey. So long as he isn't the clown, like the, the chef isn't the clown. What happens if I do run, though? even manage one? Pathetic. Guess I need to do more to impress him. What was in that meat? I don't remember much after drinking it. I did warn you. I'd like to say I remember my first, but I actually don't. Strangely fancy another one though. I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to sell you another for a while, and I must advise you not to drink more than three. Really? Why? Not sure, it just says so on the cask. Nobody has ever tried. I've only ever had one myself. Maybe I shouldn't then. Okay, so I probably have to wait a day. Let's try going down this way. I think this... Aha! Takes us somewhere else. Wonder who lives here. Nobody answers. Hmm. Oops. 
obviously nobody living in these places, or... Let's look out there, there's some vents in there. Can I get past this? Yes, you can. But there's nowhere to go. Okay. Let's see. Is there any other way to go? That way. Nope. Let's try following the road. Creepy music. Potholes. Creepy trees. Road's closed off. Looks like it's not been used in years. It's so dark out. I can't see where it leads. I would need a flashlight. There's something over there, though. Newspaper has been set out in the rain for a long time. Seems there was an accident in the woods several years ago. Probably not relevant, but I'll keep hold of it. A lot of accidents for such a small town. This is in real bad shape. The accident must have been bad, but I wonder why it's here. Hmm. Okay guys, I've been at it for, for about an hour now, so I think that is going to be it for this demo. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye.